press conference uh, for the event that we will be holding at the end at the MGM Grand Arena uh, on Saturday night, uh, July 23rd. Uh, this is uh, not only a card that has a tremendous main event, uh, two undefeated fighters, two world champions going against each other, but an undercard that is packed with talented fighters, uh, Olympic medalists, uh, uh, fighters uh, who uh, are fighting for world titles. Uh, I'm very, very excited about this card. I think it's good for boxing. I think that people who love the sport should support the card. And frankly, I'm sick and tired of people who say uh, that uh, the card should be on premium uh, television rather than pay-per-view. Uh, if people are boxing fans and want to see good fights, uh, it doesn't matter whether the fight is shown on premium television or shown on paper. So now it's good, good luck to them. Uh, <laughs> and for some reason, they can buy off lobbyists so they're not uh, subject to the Muhammad Ali Act like promoters are in boxing. Just say. <laughs> All, right. All right, listen, I'll give you a little Chris Christie. <laughs> what do you think about the MMA? <laughs> Guilty! <laughs> Fat son of a bitch. Picking <laughs> on Hillary Clinton. <laughs> In addition to both of these young men, being world champions, Terence being the WBO champion, and Victor being the WBC champion in the 140 pound uh, super lightweight or junior welterweight division. They also have something in common. While training and preparing for this fight, each of them became fathers. Terence, Baby girl, boy, baby boy, baby boy a couple of weeks ago, and Victor, last night, wife gave birth to Schwinn boys. Congratulations. Okay, so maybe I won't be around 18, 20 years from now, but Todd will be, and some of the younger guys in top rank, and. You know, I'll have contracts for you <laughs> if, if you can sign it. Now it's a pleasure for me to introduce to you the president of the World Boxing Organization, great friend of boxing. He's done this tremendous job. Uh, please welcome from Puerto Rico, Francisco Paco Val Carson. Bob, I want you to know that you're still my hero. You are the only one who likes to kill here, man. You can say whatever. People are laughing. If I said something like you said, I'm going to be in prison. <laughs> or they're going to sue me. <laughs> but you're still young. You're still younger than me. <laughs> I will belong to the same generation. Anyway, Bob, congratulations for the big show. Uh, MGM, HBO, it's a joint effort, and Tom Brank. This is a real match, you know, this is a real match. You got a guy from the land of both officials, Vladimir and Vitaly, Sergei Cicero, Sebastian Spick, Basil Lomachenko, trained by Freddy Roach, who beat Matisse. You are talking about a real guy. <laughs> this is not a bomb that, you know, that you can... I gotta pick a winner, no. This is a real fight, this is a real match. And I know that the fight that uh, uh, Cameron and, and uh, Tim Crawford like one real fighters. Like they fight the, the tough guys. Uh, Crawford, he doesn't need any presentation. He's the shining star 
from boxing now. Great guy. I love him, you know, as a person, as a champion. I told him I got butterfly in my stomach, I have to be honest. Every time he fight. Congratulations to both camp. Good luck to both and uh, fans we we're gonna have a, a great a great show. Thank you. Representing the World Boxing Council, the WBC, uh, we will make a quick presentation. Uh, please welcome Chuck Williams. Thank you, Bob, and, and thank you for giving me my marching orders. Um, I'm the supervisor for the fight representing the World Boxing Council, and we have two very quick presentations. I'm going to ask Tony Walker to please come up uh, to the podium. Tony, on behalf of the World Boxing Council and everything that HBO does for boxing, we want to present you with this plaque. Thanks, John. Very nice. Very much appreciated. Tony, this way. This way, gentlemen. And thank you. And now, for the special man, of course, who can say anything he wants because of age and, and his great wisdom. Um, Bob Arum of Top Rank, who has done uh, many, 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 many great fights with the WBC. Uh, please stand up, people, Bob, please. Thank you, Chuck. I have a pleasure to get this. Uh, I was expecting some belt with a lot of cockamamie jewels in it. <laughs> you erase cockamamie, and you write the score, you erase it. <laughs> what? to get this. Thank you very much. We're both Brooklyn guys. She wants to take a picture of your pop. Please. Thank you, Bob. This way, Bob. Go ahead, Bob. Gentlemen, this way. He is special, huh? Bob. Thank you. A little bit lower, a little bit lower, Bob. Black or his head? See that smile. <laughs> I'd like now to introduce the fight camps. I mean, this fight, all kidding aside, is, I think, the best fight, certainly, that's been offered to date to fight fans. Uh, it matches two uh, terrific young fighters, uh, each a champion, each with the same record, 28 wins and no defeats, uh, each holding a belt from their respective organizations. It has everything uh, that fights have had uh, for all the years I've been associated with boxing. We've had great fights, and I've been boxing over 50 years, and I've been associated with great, great fights. Uh, this fight, to me, uh, is up there with any of the fights that I've promoted. I remember uh, a number of years ago, down in Florida at the Orange Bowl, uh, I promoted uh, a great, great, 140-pound uh, championship fight between Aaron Pryor and the late, great uh, Alexis Zuckerway. And that was a fight for the ages. Look it up. Watch it. One of the great, great fights you'd ever want to see. And I really believe that this fight will be the equal of that unbelievable fight so many years ago uh, at the Orange Bowl, I guess it was in 1981. Uh, and uh, uh, I really am looking forward to a tremendous fight uh, here on Saturday. Uh, and now uh, I'd like to introduce uh, Team Crawford, uh, Brian McIntyre, uh, 
Cameron Duncan, Red Spikes, and Iso. Iso. Right? Okay, so I think Brian, you want to say a few words on behalf of Terrence and the team? Yeah, a little <laughs> Brian knows I don't pay by the word. <laughs> Well, I just want to say thank God first and foremost for the opportunity for Team Crawford and Terrence Crawford to uh, present to the world that Terrence is the best fighter player, 140 pounds. Uh, second of all, I just want to say thanks to Bob Room, uh, HBO, MGM Grand, just for uh, let us have, have this fight here. Uh, MGM Grand does the start of a, a long relationship with we'll, we'll, we'll be building with you guys. Uh, third, um, you know, I was going to get up here and, and uh, bash uh, their camp, but I let Terrence do that. I just want to say that uh, I'm, I'm truly, truly happy for Terrence, his family, my team, Dez, uh, Chet, Stephen, the mom, dad, sisters, brothers, and especially our city so to where we will be able to show the world that Omaha City is a place that where there are real, real champions. I um, will give a shout out to another fighter that I have on the card, Stephen Nelson, in the corner, a 2012 Olympic alternate. You will we'll soon to be seeing him up here pretty soon. Um, thanks, thanks, Bob. I really appreciate you taking, you know, going out on the limb and taking the chance on, on, on Terrence. You, it will pay off. I promise you, it will pay off. No, no, no doubt about it. Team Postal, Freddie Rose, thank y'all, man. I, I know y'all had a good camp. Um, I had somebody in there watching y'all camp. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I know you guys are in shape. I know you guys won't come and fight, man. This is just an honor to, uh, uh, for you guys to put up that belt so we can take it. And now, uh, from the uh, Victor Postal camp, I'd like to bring to the microphone his manager, Vadim Konolov, uh, and the trainer, legendary Freddie Roach. Thank you, guys. Uh, I just want to say, uh, I want to give a lot of credit to Top Rank in, in making this fight happen. Uh, nowadays, with everything going on in boxing and you know fighters not fighting each other, giving up titles, uh, promoters not working together, I think uh, Top Rank should be given a lot of credit for putting this fight together. And obviously, Terence Crawford and his team in uh, making this happen because a lot of the times these fights don't happen, and I think these are the fights that you know fans want to see and uh, the fans will enjoy because you know there's two 28 and no fighters fighting each other and nobody knows who's going to win. You know, it's that type of fight and it's, it's what people want to see. And uh, thank you to Elite Boxing for taking uh, Victor Postal to the level to, in order for him to be able to come to the United States and uh, have Top Rank uh, work with him in cooperation with Elite and give him this opportunity. Uh, thank you HBO for another great event. Um, I'm sure that this is going to be something that, um, that's going to bring more and more HBO pay-per-view events coming from, from this fight. Um, just want to say that we had a great camp. Um, we had a couple of people watching the Crawford camp as well from the outside. Um, we know that you guys didn't have that much great of a camp, and I think that uh, um, I think that in this fight with two 28 and 0 fighters at this level, all that matters is uh, how much how much the fighter put it into the camp. Because I think these are both great fighters, and I mean, there's there's not a guy here that's going to give it up. There's not a guy here that's going to want to give up their belt, and they're both technically very well fitted. Um, if anybody took days off or if anybody didn't take this seriously, it's definitely going to show on Saturday. So I think that's what it's all about. It's all about the input. And uh, I want to bring uh, the legendary trainer, uh, Freddie Roach, to take a full words. Thank you. Uh, yeah, we did, we, we did a great training camp and um, everything worked well. We had uh, six sparring partners, two lefties, two righties, two guys go both ways. Just in case Terrence brings something to the table that we haven't seen before, but we have. But best of luck to both fighters, and don't miss this one. Thank you.
I guess they arranged who gets the both champions. Usually, challenge gets first, and then the champion, both champions. So they've agreed, I guess, who goes first, who goes last, and various uh, uh, events that they're going to be together. The, here yeah, the press conference, the weigh-in, uh, the walk to the ring, and the announcements in the ring. So my notes say now uh, that Victor Postal goes first. Victor is one hell of a fighter. Uh, people uh, in his last two fights gave him very little chance to win. Uh, he fought a very, very skilled Turkish fighter. Uh, who everybody was predicting was the next big thing, and he knocked him out. And then uh, uh, the people at Golden Boy were looking for a soft touch uh, for the Argentine fighter Matisse, and so somehow uh, their matchmaker selected Victor Postal as the soft touch, and Victor was such a soft touch that he not only won the fight, but he knocked out Matisse in a tremendous performance. He's a true champion. He's undefeated. He represents the great country of Ukraine. He comes from Kiev, uh, whose mayor, by the way, is a former uh, champion of the world, Vitaly Klitschko. So please welcome the WBC uh, super lightweight champion of the world, Victor Postal. Hello, everybody. Today I will not speak English, and sorry, translate my manager writing to Philip. I was glad to meet you at press conference. First of all, I want to congratulate my former promoter. Степана Леонидовича Черновецкого, компания Elite Box Promotion. Хочу поблагодарить Top Brand, Bob Aruma. Хочу поблагодарить э, свою команду во главе Фредди Ровича, который был главным тренером. Хочу также поблагодарить своего первого тренера, Александра Ивановича Полищука, который готовил и готовит меня тоже к поединкам, ко всем. Хочу поблагодарить своего менеджера, Вадима Корнилова, его ассистентов, Хочу поблагодарить своих спаренных партнеров, которые помогали мне готовиться к этому поединку. Ну, в общем, всех тех людей, которые сделали все, чтобы этот бой состоялись, которые меня поддерживали. Хочу поблагодарить свою семью, родных, близких. Я хорошо прошел лагерь, хорошо подготовился и с нетерпением жду субботнего вечера. И Надеюсь, что бой будет хороший. И, конечно же, еще у меня одна новость. Вчера я стал папой. Хочу поблагодарить свою супругу Ольгу, которая подарила мне двоих прекрасных сыновей. Всем спасибо. I will try. Uh, first of all, I want to thank uh, my uh, Ukrainian promoter, Elite Boxing Promotions and the head of the promotional company, Stepan Leonidovich Chernovetsky. Uh, second, I want to thank my second promoter, Bob Aram and Top Rank, for making this happen. Um, I want to thank uh, the, my team, Freddy Roach, Vadim Kornilov, and everybody who helps him and assists him, and, and the rest of the team, Gavin McMillan. Um, I want to thank uh, the sparring partners that helped me prepare for this fight. Uh, that's a very important factor in, in any preparation. Um, I would like to also thank my Ukrainian trainer who started me in my career, Alexander Polishuk, uh, who took me to a certain level as well, and he's still with me. Um, I would also like to thank uh, HBO and everybody um, involved in putting this together, and MGM Grant. And uh, most of all, and most important, as you know, uh, my wife gave birth to two twin sons yesterday, and uh, it made me very happy. Uh, it relieved me of a certain worry before this fight, and uh, I would like to thank her for um, putting up with me and uh, for, for, for the fact that I wasn't next to her when, when she gave birth, but I'll be there soon. And uh, thank you guys for all the support, uh, always, and uh, hopefully uh, this is going to be an exciting fight. I'll do everything I can for that, and thank you to the uh, camp that I'm fighting, and I appreciate it. Thank you, guys.
When I got up here today, I realized that there was certain thing left unsaid that should be said as to why this fight is so significant and is so intriguing. It's not only because we have two undefeated fighters with this identical record of 28 wins and no defeats, that we have two fighters each holding a belt from different sanctioning bodies. That's all important. But really, why to me, looking at this fight from the standpoint of history, why this fight is so important, because it matches the best of two different schools of boxing. The Eastern European school, which has become extraordinarily dominant uh, in the last number of years, has witnessed by great practitioners uh, like Gennady Golovkin, like uh, Vasil Lomachenko, uh, and many others, and Victor Postal, they have a way of fighting which is now a lot less robotic than it used to be, and it's with a high degree of intelligence, and a, but it's more straight up or straight ahead. It's a very, very interesting style, and the Russian and Ukrainian and Lithuanian coaches have perfected that style over the years uh, during the Soviet Union days and later on. And then we have pitted against that the African-American style, or really, truly now, the American style. And the American style, which really originated with Sugar Ray Robinson, and later by Muhammad Ali, and then by Sugar Ray Leonard, uh, Shane Mosley, uh, Floyd Mayweather, is a style which specifies rhythm and movement. And uh, it's almost like a great jazz style. And it has the virtue of allowing somebody who is a real practitioner of the style to do special riffs in the middle of a fight, change from left to right, change the way he's moving, change the way he attacks. It's a much more fluid style. And so we will have in this fight the Eastern European style, which is becoming very dominant, and the American style, which has a great, great history, and it's a style that many of us who follow boxing greatly admire. And I don't think today that there is a better practitioner of the American style than Terence Crawford. Terence Crawford is an exciting fighter because he has absorbed that style, used its best points, and become the great fighter that he is following that style. He's a terrific young man, comes from the middle of this country, the great city of Omaha, state of Nebraska, uh, great, great fans, uh, people who are reconnecting with boxing because of Terence Crawford. He's a great, great champion, and I'm proud to introduce him to you today, the WBO champion of the world, Terence Crawford. Uh, hi, everybody doing? First of all, I'd like to thank God for blessing me to be here today to display my talent here come Saturday. I'd like to thank Todd Ray 
for believing in me. I'd like to thank HBO for always putting me on. Uh, what can I say? I had a great camp. Uh, nice sparring. Nice everything. Everything went well, way. I'm just ready to go out there and display my talent. A lot of people are not giving me a, enough credit to to the point where everybody's talking about postal jab. But we're gonna see who got the better jab come Saturday. Everybody stay tuned. It's gonna be a great fight. I know he worked hard. I know Freddie did everything he can to prepare the man for this weekend. But I'm looking forward to anything he bring this weekend. I'm looking forward to a good fight this weekend. Thank you everybody, support the fight. does it. Uh, before we go, I just want to say a few things. The uh, tickets are still available in all prices. Uh, we've sold well over uh, 5,000, almost 6,000 tickets. There's about 1,500 uh, more tickets to be sold, which I'm sure will sell between now and fight time. So we'll have a great sold out crowd. Uh, and uh, I hope I haven't offended anything, anybody with my remarks, but you know, sometimes you say crazy things and it turns out that you're correct. For example, <laughs> when I was doing the uh, Pacquiao Bradley fight, we had an all Hispanic undercard and I called it my no Trump undercard. And then I told the people, the, di the people ask the difference between MMA and boxing. I said, well, in boxing, you know, we have a lot of minorities, African Americans, Hispanics, Jewish promoters, people like that. And pretty much, we're Democrats. Right? MMA people, they're for Trump. <laughs> you ever look at an MMA audience? Of course they're for Trump. And tonight, on national television, I'm going to be proved correct because opining on this state of the nation is this great intellectual analyst, Dana White. That was last night, okay. I missed it that much. Did he say anything? <laughs> Well, anyway, election is coming up. I know where the people in boxing stand, or most of the people, they stand for what this country is about, and they're not going to let anybody take away this country. So thank you all for coming. Fighters will be available for interviews, take pictures. Thank you.